if this is true, that is some deep ish. You got Michael and Camilla, and then there's Raphael. In 2018, we had Aria. I love is real. Feel surreal. Subscribe to our channel and enjoy the frill. A typical date in a noble's household. We come from London where it's always cold. Daddy has to change the baby's bum bum. Whilst mommy has to soothe Raphael's tum tum. Things are crazy as you can tell. At the end of everything, it ends all well. The nobles. The nobles. Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel, The Noble Familia. Today, we are going to have a girl chat. Men are involved too. We're going to have a discussion based on a Kardashian scandal that came out a few days ago between Khloe Kardashian and Jordan Woods. Yes, you know what I'm talking about. I can't believe what I'm about to discuss with you guys. Let's begin. So a few days ago, it came out that Jordan Woods, who is Khloe Kardashian's sister's best friend, Kylie Jenner. So Kylie Jenner and Jordan Woods have been inseparable since, I don't know, since they were like babies. So they've literally been like that. Jordan Woods even lives in Kylie Jenner's guest house. Khloe Kardashian, based on the research that I've done, she's no longer with Tristan Thompson, but they were together. They both share a daughter called True Thompson, who is around 10 months old. So just after Valentine's or before, I'm not sure exactly, but they, um, Tristan Thompson and Jordan Woods were both at a party. And sources are saying that they saw them two really close and intimate and they're saying that it was obvious that something was going on first of all if this is true that is some deep ish i was shocked that she could even do something like that a little bit of a backstory based on everything that we all know as the public. I don't know whether it's true, whether it's a publicity stunt, who knows. I'm just here to bring you the details. And let's just say, allegedly, Jordan Woods and Tristan Thompson were caught being intimate. Apparently, Tristan Thompson, when, when the news came out, Tristan Thompson tweeted fake news. And then Khloe Kardashian, she replied with loads of angry emojis and then her best friend chloe kardashian's best friend malika replied saying strong facts boy oh gosh this is a mess the thing is okay so chloe kardashian when she met tristan thompson i think it was a few years ago i'm not sure exactly maybe 2015 16 i'm not sure correct me when they met tristan thompson was going out with another lady who was pregnant with his child and he left this other lady for Khloe Kardashian. And apparently she knew everything. She knew that he had a pregnant girlfriend and he left her for her. If you are meeting someone who has done that, what makes you think they're not gonna do it to you? So in that aspect, I'm just like, girl, really? You really wanna go there? So that's how they met. Also, a few days before Chloe gave birth. It came out that Tristan Thompson had cheated on her. There was a video that TMZ leaked. Tristan Thompson was in a, a club with two other ladies. Apparently, like they were kissing and they was grabbing his private area, if you know what I'm talking about. They looked like they were having fun, basically. She chose to stay with him for the sake of their baby. Who are we to say, no, you shouldn't do that? Because some people actually do stick through things like that. So we can't really be like, oh no, you shouldn't be with him. It's her life, it was her decision. Khloe Kardashian, man, just change the people around you, change the energy that you're giving out. Clearly something's not going right. Just get rid of him. Apparently she's not with him now, I don't know, but he's not worth it. You've got a beautiful daughter, just focus on her. And once you get your energy correct and your aura, the right man will come to you. Dash him. Dash him in a bin. Dash him in a trash. He is a waste man. In the UK, we call these type of guys waste men. Waste man. <laughs> yeah, so some people are saying it's a publicity stunt because the new Kardashian 
series is coming out i think they're on season 15. i don't know how hollywood works to be honest with you if this is true why more money that's why but it's like first of all why would jordan woods put her career on the line and chloe kardashian put her career on the line? i think it's just too much if it's a publicity stunt it's like come on man hey, haven't you got morals like do you not respect yourself enough if it's a publicity stunt according to tmz kim kardashian has unfollowed jordan and she has unfollowed tristan so i think it's true so it got me thinking i wanted to relate this news with real life and what would i do if this happened to me so basically in my situation it will be my husband so if my husband got it on with my sister's best friend <laughs> i can't oh gosh my heart i can't sorry chloe kardashian man the thing is yeah there's not only one person to blame i can't just blame her i have to blame him too because it takes two to tango right so i don't think you should just point the finger in most cases a lot of the people that's going through it whether it's, it's the man or the woman they always blame the other person rather than their partner no boo boo it's both of them they both are to blame they both knew what they were doing let's not just blame the guy or the woman okay let's let's be truthful yeah in my case i would have to get a divorce i will be a divorcee honey that will be me sorry baby but no i would have to get a divorce i'll pack my bags and i will leave yeah i'll take the kids i'm gonna i'm gonna let you see them because i'm not that type of woman we'll arrange a schedule for when you have them and when i have them but we are going to become co-parents honey because i am not sticking with you i know we said some vows when we got married we said vows from better or for worse to death to us part but you broke the vow when you got it on with my sister's best friend did you not so I'm going to break the vow and leave your ass. You betrayed me. I can't trust you anymore. I know, listen, okay. I'm talking for me, yeah? In my opinion. This is what I would do. I know some people stick it through. Like Chloe, she stuck it through the first time when she found out. And I know we have two children and we live together. We're husband and wife. But you broke our vows. You're the one that broke the vows first, not me. I asked Michael. I said, Michael, what would you do? He was like, nah, he'll go nuts. <laughs> he'll go nuts. He won't stay with me. And my sister's best friend? Boy, I'm expecting my sister to not talk to you anymore, you know? My sister is unfriending you. She's not, she's no longer your best friend. You can pee off and go about your business and you're no longer in our family so i will get a divorce we will co-parent my sister's best friend you no longer exist to me you are dust you are dirt on the floor i don't see you as a human anymore easier said than done but honestly when it comes to cheating i don't tolerate with that i know not everyone might agree but this is the beauty of opinions <laughs> we all can have our own opinions so yeah i hope you enjoyed our discussion comment down below let me know what you would do if you was in chloe kardashian's situation if it was happening to you in real life would you stick by him or her and work it through or would you separate and be like bye bye honey you go that way i'm going this way let's not cross paths ever again if you are new to this channel hi welcome we are the noble familiar the noble familiar is me my husband and our two children my husband is at work and my two kids are with their godmother thank you vicky for taking care of them for me Mwah. we are new as you probably know we've got a few videos out and we've got at the moment as it sounds we've got 65 subscribers yay <laughs> subscribe button right here right here and like our video share our video tell people about our we are aiming to hit 1000 subscribers so help us grow 
support and love. I'll see you in the next video. Mwah! My mum, she overdosed and then um, she overdosed and she was literally taken to the hospital and she was put on a life support machine.